I am no different. Matter of fact, my flaws is probably 20 times worse than other people. We as athletes, we say it don't matter what you think about us or say about us. It really do. We're human. But that was just a short part of my life. And I have a lot of work to do still, so. I didn't know this interview was going to start off like that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Now, the All-Star Game being in Salt Lake City, Utah for 2023, um, it actually brought out uh, a lot of things. Uh, one thing it brought out was bring, reuniting John Stockton and Carl Malone. Now, Carl Malone, he lives out of the public eye. He's and for those that did not see him play, he was every bit as good, if not better, than Car uh, Charles Barkley or someone like that. He's another one of the greats on the NBA court that didn't get a ring, um, but he was stopped by Jordan twice. So I don't know if that's, you know, it took the Michael Jordan to uh, stop him from getting his ring. He even got an MVP one of the seasons uh, that they made the finals. He got league uh, regular season MVP. Now, Carl Malone, as great as he was on the court, he has had several trials and tribulations off the court, okay? We know that um, WNBA great Cheryl Ford, he's, he's her father and did not have anything to do with her um, for most of her life as she was coming up actually at all uh, I think they didn't meet until she was 17 and she longed to have that relationship with her father okay now the thing that continues to come back up is in regards to when Carl Malone was in college at Louisiana Tech that he got then Gloria Bell, a 13-year-old, pregnant. And not only uh, was never convicted or ever received really any kind of public backlash for it to where, you know, and I get it, different times. Um, he didn't come up in the social media era and all that and cancel this and cancel that, cancel culture. Sometimes we over cancel, but if there was ever a situation that someone really needed to uh, be called to the carpet, I ain't even, I'm not even gonna say cancel, but to have their day of reckoning, for them to at least acknowledge some of their wrongdoings, it's with Carl Malone because there's no way to shake it. Um, the, the girl was 13, which means she was in middle school and at 20, you were, you know, old enough to be a junior, senior in college. Some people have graduated college when they're 20. Um, so to me, you can't make that math make any sense. Now, Carl Malone uh, was actually in Utah, which, you know, he usually is not around anything related to the NBA because he knows this is coming. He knows that now we're in a day and age where, you know, a, a, a few Google searches, you can find out a little bit about the story, then you can go do your own research. Um, and initially, he kind of, he caught an attitude uh, with one of the reporters that actually started to bring up the topic of his past. Take a listen here what uh, Carl Malone had to say. You referenced how players see everything that's said about them these days, how you know you see all the negative stuff. Obviously, there's been some backlash to you in recent years. We're not discussing any backlash. I don't care. Uh, it's, it's my life. It's my personal life, and I deal with that like I have to deal with it. I mean, but man, so whatever. Now, you could hear Carl Malone very guarded. Really didn't want to get into it, and I mean, why would he? You know, that's that's a platform where he, he a, a topic that he never touched on, and he definitely wasn't going to touch on it 
on that particular platform with the NBA All-Star and everybody's in their feel good. You know, it's back in Utah. Carl Malone really hasn't uh, been a part of the Utah franchise uh, much at all uh, since the change of ownership. So he's kind of been off, you know, to himself and to come back and then have to answer those questions. Nobody expected him to. However, Carmelo did do a sit down and actually, while he never touched on the topic directly, he sounds um, like a man that is uh, dealing with quite a bit of demons from his past. Um, and he even made mention that he's trying to become, and he's obviously working with a therapist or someone that he's come across to be a more genuine person. Now, Carl has often talked about his grandfather and his mother, but never his father. And he's kind of, you know, opened up a little bit about not having a father figure. Take a listen here what Carl had to say. You know, so cliche-ish but not having that father figure and to be able to see things from a different perspective, being able to look at it for what it is, that's where I'm at in life right now. Well, I'll say this, you know, the older I get, I'll be almost 60, and I work to try to be the best of me every day, and I fall short 90% of the time during the day. Yeah, we all have flaws. Lots of them, big ones. And I've met some interesting people that is teaching me how to be a person and a, and, and, you know, a real authentic person because we think we have it. And I've met, I met a person that's so amazing to me and been able to spend a little time with him. It's been pretty awesome. I see things a lot different now. Man, just, just listening to Carl, I can tell he's living with a lot of the demons of the past. Never addressed it. Um, again, him and Cheryl Ford, uh, they ended up having a relationship, but uh, the child that he had with Gloria Bell when she was 13 and how that whole situation played out. I remember little details from that uh, where he was saying that you know, uh, the $150 a week or whatever was too much in child support. And that, that was a whole situation back then. I mean, you can, you can look up the details. It, uh, it's all over the internet. But I do know, you know, his, his son ended up going off to the NFL, playing five years, uh, Demetrius Bell. But I don't know. It's, it's, I can tell he's going through a lot. Hopefully some of that counseling is going to help him and be able to open up one day about it. Maybe even do a sit down uh, with his son that he never had in his life. I mean, that's, that's, that's tough, man. Sometimes the decisions you make early on, man, it just, it never goes away. Um, and the only way I think it would ever go, not even go away, but addressing it where it could actually be a, a good story kind of a feel good moment if he actually just opened up and just had a one-on-one -on -one conversation about some of the decisions he made as a young man because we're talking 40 years at this point when that happened um so I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm going to holler at you next time. Peace.